This is a detailed video explaining how multi-currency payment works on Seller. One thing we've done with Seller is we've made the process of selling multi-currencies very seamless. You can simply set your local currency once and people from anywhere in the world can pay you and you receive the funds in your bank account, mobile money wallets or via PayPal. As you might know, anyone anywhere in the world can set up an account and sell with Seller. We support bank accounts and mobile money settlements in Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, US, UK, and we also support settlement via PayPal. So anyone anywhere in the world can set their PayPal email address and will pay their profits via PayPal. For this video, I'll be explaining things from the perspective of a Nigerian merchant, but the same applies to merchants in any other country. The first thing you should know is, by default, every seller merchant has 8 currencies available on their seller. So this is a demo store, seller.co slash demo, and you can see the different currencies available. See USD, Naira, Pounds, GHS, KS, ZR, CZS, and UGX. Another thing you should know is, when you make a sale on seller, you are charged a transaction fee for each successful sale. And this transaction fee differs by currency. So if you go to the pricing page as seller.co slash pricing, you can actually check this out and see all the prices available. From our pricing page, seller.co slash pricing, you can see the different transaction charge for each currency. So for Naira, it's 4%. For Pounds, it's about 10%. For USD, it's about 10%. So you can check out the other options here and see the transaction fee that we charge per currency. After the pricing, another thing you should know is the settlement timeline and how you get your money, right? So the details are also on our pricing page. So if you scroll down this page, you see that for Naira, the funds are available to you 24 hours after the sale. For GHS, the funds are available to you four days after the sale. For USD and pounds, the funds are available after 10 days and you can see the details of other currencies here so when you receive fx that's foreign currency it is converted and paid to your seller wallet based on the settlement timeline we have just discussed and once it's your seller wallet you can withdraw it out immediately so let's quickly go to our wallet wallet and payout okay wallet so for example, as a Nigerian merchant, if you receive GHS after four days, we convert the GHS to Naira and credit it to your seller wallet. We also send you an email letting you know we've created your seller wallet. And once it's in your seller wallet, you can simply hit the withdraw button right here, withdraw funds from your wallet's page. The same logic applies to merchants in any other country. So if you are a US merchant, if you sell to Nigerians in Naira, we convert the Naira to USD and credit your account with the USD equivalent. And once it's in your wallet, you can withdraw it right away. The next thing we'll talk about is how your customers experience multi-currency payment on Seller. If you didn't know already, Seller has an automatic IP address detector on your Seller store. And what this means is when someone visits your Seller store for the first time, we detect what country they are visiting from and show them their country's default currency. For a lot of creators selling internationally, this reduces the worry of, I want my international customers to see USD by default. With seller, it is done automatically for you. Hence, if someone from the US visits your seller store, we'll show them USD by default. We also have the currency switcher at the top right of the store which is right here this is the currency switcher perhaps the customer might want to pay in a different currency so they can actually select the currency they would like to pay in even though they're in us but then if they're in us the default currency they are going to see when visiting your product page is usd now let's talk about currency conversions yes you have eight currencies available on your store by default and we make it easy by allowing you simply set just your default currency and we would automatically convert to other currencies using standard rates when customers visit your store. 
As a Nigerian merchant, you can simply set your product in Naira. And when someone from the US visits your store, we automatically convert the Naira to the currency equivalent and show them the converted USD value. Same thing applies to sellers in other countries too. You can simply set your default currency and all other currencies automatically converted for you. That being said, there are times when the price of your product in other currencies aren't always equal. For one, people in different countries have different buying power. So it is normal to have a higher USD price than other currencies and you have the option to set a fixed price for other currencies too. So let's make a test product and see how this works. So I'm going to create a product here. So you see what I'm talking about. Okay, let's add a to product. All right, so let's call this product sample multi-currency. As a Nigerian merchant, when you create an account, you get to see just one month feed for your default currency. And since it's Nigeria, it's going to be Naira. And you can see right here. So you can only put the price in Naira once you create your account. So I'm just going to uh, make this product 5,000. Just quickly create this product. So we can move on from here. I'll say the extract out original price is 10,000. Oh, that's not 100. <laughs> I'll just quickly write the description here. All right, so I will check this option so we can just quickly create this product. So I'll create this product. All right, so the product is created. Okay, so I've created a product and what I'll do, I'll just visit the product page using the product link. So this is the product link. So this is the product page to buy this product, yeah? So because I'm in Nigeria, show me the Naira price by default, right? Now, if I switch the currency to USD, you're going to see that the 5,000 Naira has been automatically converted to the USD equivalent here, yeah? So this is what your customers are going to see when they come to your product page. So if you check it in pounds as well, it has been automatically converted for you by seller. Remember when we created this product, we only added the price in Naira, which is 5,000 here. However, your customers can also pay in other currencies because seller has actually automatically converted the 5,000 Naira to the dollar equivalent, GHS equivalent, or even pounds equivalent. Seller just converted to the other eight, seven currencies available in your store. However, let's say I want the Naira price to be 5,000, but then I want the USD price to be $20 and not $12, which is automatically converted by seller according to the conversion rate. So let's say I want to use my own conversion rate. So I want my customers to pay 5,000 in Naira, but then $20, right? So what you can do is you can also set this up on seller. So what you want to do is to go to your store currency settings page to enable the USD option. So what this does really is to allow you set fixed USD prices on your products page, yeah? So let's um, check that now. So now to um, see the store settings, you can actually from the edit page, just click on this and say by default, you set the price in your local currency and will automatically convert the amount to other currencies on your store page. But if you'd like to set the fixed price for other currencies, for example, USD, you can enable this option on your store currency settings page. So you can actually click on this and this will take you to your store currency settings. Or you can use the hamburger icon here and to the left, go to settings and scroll down and go to store currencies. Yeah. So this is my store currency. Now you can see there are two options. So we are going to talk about the first option first, which is the custom editable currency settings, which is what we are interested in right now. Remember, you can only set the product price in Naira for now. And if you see here, this is what it checks Naira. And because it is your default currency, since I'm talking from the perspective of a Nigerian merchant, so Naira is going to be my default currency. Yeah. So because Naira is my default currency, I can now uncheck this option. However, I can add other options to it. Yeah. So let's say I want my product price to be 5,000 in Naira, but $20. Yeah. Not the 
normal conversion that seller does for me but i want to use my own conversion rate so what i want to do is to check usd here you can check all, all of these options if you want to put the price manually in all other currency types so i'm going to check usd and i'm going to check ghs yeah so i'm going to click on update details so once this today is updated let's go back to our products that we created okay let's refresh this page and after refreshing this page you can now see that you can add your price in naira usd and ghs this usd and ghs price you can see here is the auto converted uh, price by seller right the 5000 naira automatically converted to usd and ghs for you however if you don't want to use this conversion rate, you want to use your own conversion rate so you can just edit this now since you set it up in your stock currency so make this 20 and we can make the ghs 100 and then you scroll down to update this product okay so since we set um the price in naira um usd and ghs this is what you're going to be seeing in the usd and ghs uh, price on the product page then the many other five currency will be automatically converted for you so let's quickly go to the products page as you can see that the dollar price is twelve dollar but let's refresh this now okay so it has been refreshed and you see that the dollar is now twenty dollar which is the price you've set up here twenty dollar and uh, let's check it in ghs and in ghs is now 100 cds which is what we've manually added here and if you check the other currencies which you do not set in your store seller has automatically converted it for you so you can see the price in pounds you can see it in ks and other of the five currencies that you didn't set up in your edit store seller will still automatically convert those ones for you ps you can edit the fixed currency amount for all other currencies it's really up to you so if if you decide that you want to manually add the price in all of the eight currencies available on seller you can just set that up in your store currency edit page like we did for the usd and ghs the final thing i will show you is how to limit the currencies shown on your store yeah so you can see here we have all of the eight currencies available also here all of the eight currencies are available so when people try to buy from your store they can pay you in any of these eight currencies however you can limit this option if this is not what you want so if you just want customers to be able to pay you in naira and usd or naira usd and pounds or only in naira and usd you can set that up as well so if you don't collect payments in all of these eight currencies you only want to collect payments in two or three currencies you can set that up in your store so to be able to see these settings what we want to do is to go um, let's use this hamburger icon go back to the store settings okay so go back to settings we'll go to store currencies remember we talked about this first option that says custom editable currency settings first so this second option is where you're going to choose the currencies you want to be available on your product page yeah so right now we have all of the eight currencies available here because it is selected in our store currency settings all of the eight options are available right however if i just want to sell in usd like i said usd naira and pounds remember your default currency is always checked because i'm talking from a nigeria perspective naira for me yeah so if you are in Ghana, it's going to be CDs for you that is going to be checked. You cannot uncheck that option. You must sell in your local currency, yeah? So what I'm going to do now is, so let's say I don't send all of these currencies. I just want to sell in Naira and USD and maybe GHS, okay? So I'm going to check all other options and just leave USD, GHS checked and I'll just update this. Okay, so this has been updated. We'll go back to the products. Let's refresh first i am going to see that the currencies available are just usd ghs and naira which is what we've selected in our store settings here usd ghs and naira so i can now sell only usd ghs and naira we check the demo store as well that is what we have there okay let's refresh this that's what we have here usd ghs and naira 
However, like I said before, if you want to be able to sell in all of the eight currencies, then you want to check all of these options here. Check all the currencies you like to sell in and just update the details and your customers will be able to pay in any of those currencies. So this is how multi-currency and payment settlement really works on seller.